Hello, this is Mrs. Brown, and today we're going to take a look at substituting a negative number. So let's say I have an expression like 2x plus 1, and I am told that x is negative 3. Now what do I do? Well, you're going to substitute this in, so everywhere you see an x, you're going to replace it with a negative 3. Here's the rule when substituting a negative. Always substitute into parentheses. And that way, it's easier to tell the difference between whether it's a negative or it's just a subtraction sign. Because otherwise, it's easy to confuse yourself. Is that 2 minus 3 or is that 2 times negative 3? I don't know. Um, so if you always substitute into parentheses, you will know that it's a negative number and you will make less mistakes. So I just substitute in. And then you can evaluate your expression. So 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 plus 1, okay? If, if you look, the signs are opposite, so I'm really subtracting, which is 5, but since there's more negatives, it's negative 5, and that's just my answer. That's it. So let's look at another example. Um, let's say I have something like x to the second power. And I want to substitute in negative 4. Okay. Well, what do I do? You substitute into parentheses. That's the rule. Okay. Um, this is, means that's negative 4 squared, which means that's equivalent to negative 4 times negative 4. And 4 times 4 is 16. And when you have two negatives, they cancel each other out. So it's just positive 16. Okay. Again, if you always substitute a negative number into parentheses, you will make way, way, way less mistakes. It'll be much easier that way, okay? So let's take a little bit more complicated problem. Let's say I have 3xy plus 2x. Ooh, ah, let's not do this scary, I promise. Um, and I tell you that x is negative 2, and y is negative 5. So in other words, everywhere I see an x, I'm going to substitute in a negative 2. And everywhere I see a y, I'm going to substitute in a negative 5. So I go 3 times negative 2 times negative 5 plus, and I'm going to run out of space. I'm sorry. Put that right in the way. Um, 2 times negative 2. Again, my x equals negative 2 and my y equals negative 5, okay? Once I've substituted everything in parentheses, I follow the order of operations to simplify. In other words, I'm going to do multiplication before addition. So if I look, negative 2 times negative 5 is positive 10 times 3 is 30. Or I could have done 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 times negative 5 is positive 30. And 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. And then since I'm adding and the signs are opposite, I'm just going to really subtract. 30 minus 4 is 26. And since there's more positives than negatives, it's just positive 26. Okay? So that's substituting it with a negative number. Um, I hope this helps, and I'll talk to you soon.